Hey, how you doing today? My name is Ryan. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I want to show you how to mod Hollow Knight, and we're going to do this quick and easy. We're going to be doing it on a PC. No, there is no way to mod on console. That includes uh, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. It's not going to happen. If you're playing on a phone, that's not supported. You're pirating the game at that point. You're stealing from indie devs. But if you're looking to mod the game, what you're going to do is go ahead and either in the links down in the description below or go ahead and head over to the Hollow Knight Discord. The Hollow Knight Discord can be found at discord.gg forward slash Hollow Knight. Boom. Go ahead and join their Discord because that is where you're going to find the latest version of whatever the mod installer was. It used to be the mod installer. It is mod installer 2 and now it is called Lumafly Lantern. Lumafly? Maybe it's just called Lumafly. I'm just adding words to it for absolutely no reason. So over here on the left hand side, uh, go ahead. Make sure you read the rules and info. Be polite whenever you get into a new community. And over here on the left hand side, you're going to go over to modding help. And in here, uh, if it doesn't already pop up on the right, you're going to look at the support FAQ read before posting. It's a good idea because you're going to get a lot of information. So Lumafly, the recommended current patch installer is here. So this is going to be for current patch of Hollow Knight. You're not going to be down patching Hollow Knight, playing an older version of it, and then also doing mods. So you'll just click here. It says you're leaving Discord. You'll visit the site. And then... You'll go ahead and once you click there, it automatically starts installing. Some people, if you've got McAfee or something like that, it might pop up and say, hey, I'm afraid that this might be a virus or something. You're just going to have to uh, do one of those trust me bros. And so what I like to do is I like to open up my mod folder. When I say my mod folder, it's literally just a folder on my desktop. I titled it mods. Put it wherever you want. And then just like that, you open this. And you've got the mod installer already there. When you open this up for the first time, if you open it up nice and big, it's got a couple of things in here. Launch the vanilla game. That means without any mods. Launch modded game. You don't even have to open it here. Once you install the mods, I'll show you how to do that. All you have to do is open up Hollow Knight even from Steam and it'll work just fine. Uh, you, you got the website, mod a tutorial, a readme, Discord. There's all kinds of help and stuff here. If you come over to mods, this is what you are looking for. But as you can see over on the top right over here, there's 458 different mods. In fact, not all of these mods are like actually playable. Some of them are like back end things that it's a mod that might help several other mods, if that makes sense. So how do we actually turn on mods? It's as simple as clicking the install button here. Just like that, it puts a little thing and says mod installed. So now the mod is installed, meaning it's on my computer and it is on. You alternatively can leave it installed on your computer and just turn it off if you wanted to. You don't necessarily have to all the way install it and uninstall it to turn a mod on and off. Um, if we look at my installed screen, so that one only used that one mod. Some of the mods that I like to use a lot, and especially for like content creation and whatever else, I would use Bench Warp, just like that. I'd install that super helpful for just being able to get around the map and then also if you want to change your inputs let's say you start a new save game file you want to be able to give yourself abilities you want to be able to give yourself extra masks you want uh cheats you want infinite soul infinite health infinite whatever being able to, to fly through the map it's called no clip that mod is called debug the debug mod right here is awesome i love it a lot there's all kinds of different things you can do with the debug mod and yeah so now we've got the debug bench warp and uh abs cough and if you're not sure like like what is abs cough what, what what could that be you can click this little drop down here and it will tell you a gameplay mod that adds invincible markoths to the absolute radiance fight that sounds like a good time that no one i don't know why somebody would have done this it's just some sort of challenge so what else is really cool is not only can you search for mods by name but more than likely you don't know what the name of the mods you're looking for are even called so what you can do is under the advanced search tab over here you can select tags and with these tags you can find boss mods Cosmetic mods, that's the way that things look. Expansion, so just adding more things to the game. Gameplay. Library, that's more of like things on the back end, things that are untagged, and utility. So let's say we click on boss tags. So Abscoth is a boss tag. Corrupted Kin, 
super fun fight. Definitely worth playing. Cagney Carnation, another good one. There's a bunch of really cool, fun boss fights that are in here. There's so much. Uh, one that is brand new. I still have to try it. I think I'm going to do a live stream of it here soon is The Hive. And so it's a mod that makes the hive a little bit harder with some new lore. Also includes the newest version of the classic modded fight Buzzbow. Playing with an enemy HP bar and hue shifter is not required, but is recommended. First part of the Hollow Knight mod series. Ooh, very cool. So that's one that I'm planning on checking out. But a lot of these are just super, super fun. So that's the boss fights, right? So now... If we turn off the boss fights and we go over to expansion, let's see. I don't think I played Crafted Town. Lightbringer is fun. It changes up a lot of the different charms and what you can do. Hail Court is pretty cool. It allows you to play a bunch of different bosses that you normally wouldn't be able to play. And it's the five great champions. And then at the end, you get to do all five great champions back to back. Really fun. Very difficult. But also, it, it feels really good like it should have been or could have been part of the game, which is really, really cool. PvP Arena, that sounds like fun. Stories of a Hollow Knight player chapter two. Interesting, some of these stuff I've never even heard of. Test of Teamwork was a very interesting platforming area. Uh, Glimmering Realm, I don't know that I've ever played that one either. I'm far behind on my mods, just saying. I, I should jump into some of these. So let's say you wanted to play something like Lightbringer. I wanted to see what it shows. Okay, so let's say you've installed a couple of mods. You turn some of them on. Now all you have to do is head over to Steam, hit play on Hollow Knight. You're going to see a different loading bar like this when the game first kicks on. The other thing you'll, you'll notice is over in the top left, it'll show all of the mods that you have currently installed. And so now when you hit start and you load up into a game, now when I hit escape, up here at the top, I've got my Bench Warp mod. I can click all, and let's say I want to fast travel to Dirt Mouth. I can just click on Dirt Mouth and Warp. And just like that, I'm moving wherever it is that I want to go. The other thing I can do is if I press the F1 button, I will see all of the different cheats and mods and whatever else. So if I come down to cheats, I can turn on infinite HP or toggle it off there's all kinds of different pieces here you can turn charms so you can give yourself all charms uh you can you can change just about anything you can think of not only up here with the different skills and items and so on over here this piece right here where it says bindings you can up and down your nail damage and so you can use these little pieces right here if you click on this plus four boom so you can see what happens right here. Increased base nail damage by four. I'm going over this mod specifically because I feel like it will set you up to do almost anything else that you want to do. I really, really enjoy having the debug mod. And again, maybe that's I'm partial because I use it a lot for content creation and being able to set up certain scenarios to make you the videos that you like to see. And before I forget, if you wanted to get rid of all your mods, you've got a couple of different options. You can come over to installed and turn them off one at a time. Or let's say you had a bunch of them turned on all at the same time. You can come over here to the left side. You can click uninstall all. Boom. And just like that, all of your mods are gone. If for whatever reason that's not good enough, you want to get rid of the mods even, even harder. Come over to Hollow Knight in your Steam library. Right click on Hollow Knight. Come to Properties. Go down to Installed Files. And verify integrity of the game files. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to remove anything that's a mod or anything that's changed your saved game files or anything like that. I will say this you might want to back up your save game files before you open up a game with mods specifically if you've got like your main save game file that you got all your accomplishments in and you don't want to like lose any data don't go playing mods in that save game file there's a chance that you lose the data or the mod doesn't open correctly just something bad could happen potentially so either just don't open the game with that or make a backup if you don't know how to make a backup i'll leave a link uh, down in the description below i'm pretty sure i've made a video on that anyway sort of this turning into a mod showcase i would love to know from you what are some of your favorite mods 
if you've ever modded or if you just started modding come back to this video after you've played some mods and let me know what did you play what did you like i would love to hear your feedback let me know what i should be playing i would like to know anyways thank you so much my members for supporting the channel thank you for watching all the way to the end again my name is relia and i'll talk to you again more real soon thanks bye